Many students choose to leave home and move to another region to study and retaining these students within the community is a key driver of future growth, productivity and prosperity. Universities in Yorkshire and the Humber are making the fastest progress to retain their graduates, with more than half choosing to stay within their region of study six months after graduation. We sent Robin Ross to Sheffield to see how the universities there are using connections within the community to keep graduates in the city. Sheffield has a rich history in steel, but today it's forging another type of future. Sheffield Hallam University and the University of Sheffield are at the heart of economic growth and regeneration in the area. The two universities are absolutely key anchor institutions to developing economic activity, to creativity and innovation, to making Sheffield a place that people want to come because of the quality of life, but know that there will be opportunities for the jobs of the future. Attracting people to study in wonderful places like this isn't so difficult, but the aim is to try and keep the talent here after they graduate. By working closely with major local employers such as the NHS, local authority and local businesses, the universities are fighting the brain drain and boosting aspirations. Alex spent much of his childhood visiting his nana in hospital. She died of breast cancer. The experience made him want to be a doctor, but no one in his family had ever been to university, so they were unable to give advice. Fortunately, at age 13, he was introduced to the Sheffield Outreach Access to Medicine Scheme. It reaches out to young people who may never have thought of taking up a medical career. I'm starting a new job at the Northern General Hospital in Sheffield um, as a doctor, and there's, th there's 50 doctors starting, and 36 of us have been to Sheffield, so it's a really high retention rate. You were born and bred here? Yep, born and bred in Sheffield. Would you ever leave Sheffield? Uh, I'd never say never, but there's nothing that's tempting me otherwise. <laughs> Universities in Yorkshire and Humber are making the fastest progress to keep their graduates. In 2011, over 40% of graduates were still in the region working, six months after graduation. This figure has risen every year since, reaching more than half. Ellie studied arts game design at Sheffield Hallam University. She now works for Sumo Digital, one of the UK's leading games development studios. It's based in Sheffield and works closely with the university on the curriculum to ensure students are learning the skills needed in the gaming industry. Each year, they take on local graduates, including Ellie. There are a lot of lecturers on our course were um, ex-industry members and quite a lot of them have contacts at CIMO and it was always cool to be able to sort of see the new projects that CIMO were coming out with and we always felt like there was that very close-knit family vibe. Darren co-founded Sumo Digital. Having students trained to hit the floor running has helped Sumo to compete and grow. According to Universities UK, industry collaboration with higher education institutions increases productivity by between 11 and 16 percent, meaning companies like Sumo in places like Sheffield can compete with London. Yeah, there's a lot of games companies there, but in Sheffield we're attracting the staff, we're attracting the projects as well. If we can get great projects and get great staff, then we're, we're going to keep being successful and we're going to keep supporting the area. This support gives graduates the confidence to settle here. Ellie is from Manchester, but is buying a flat with a boyfriend in Sheffield. I feel like I can really settle down here and I feel confident that I am permanent and I've always had positive feedback from the company and I do feel like I'm at home here and I feel like I'm respected and I feel safe. The government is reviewing tuition fees and university funding over concerns that the system is failing students. Universities are under increasing pressure to prove their worth. Lord Blunkett came to the University of Sheffield as a mature student back in 1969 when just 8% of the population attended university. Today, it's estimated that 49% of people will go into higher education by age 30. Young people say to me in schools, is it worth going to university? You know, we, we've got to take out an enormous loan. I say it's always worth it. It's worth it to you as an individual to open your heart and your minds, uh, to build on the talent uh, that you have. But it's also worth it in terms of your contribution back into the community and to the work environment.